Archaeological discoveries are always amazing, but sometimes they leave us pretty shocked as well. Whether it's a forgotten city or an ancient temple, these finds always manage to leave our mouths hanging. For today's video, we've compiled a list of some really cool underground discoveries made recently that will certainly blow your socks off. Stay tuned as we share the most insane recent underground discoveries from all around the world. First up, scientists uncover some pretty gruesome crucifixion evidence. So, killing isn't something new. We've been doing that pretty much since the start of existence. But one thing that we're pretty good at is coming up with new ways to kill or making the process more horrifying. And the first item on our list sort of goes in line with that. Recently, in the United Kingdom, a skeleton was discovered, and scientists believe it probably belonged to a slave that was brutally crucified. What we know is that this person was from around 3 or 4 AD, whose body was literally nailed down. Yes, that's right. This extremely rare evidence includes a nail hammered into one of the heel bones of the remains found. Scientific analysis of the remains has pointed out that the person was chained to perhaps a wall for a very long time as his legs were growing thinner. It also suggested that his age was somewhere between 25 to 35. The body was found in a cemetery containing 48 graves, all of which contained bodies that showed signs of hard manual labor. So it's a possibility that it was a cemetery made for slaves. Now, coming back to our crucified slave, it's definite that he must have committed a serious crime, as even in the Roman times, they didn't just hand them out easily. So this body belongs to someone who was accused of treason or rebellion. Either way, that's a horrible, horrible way to go. Next, we have an eternal love burial. A grave in China holds a buried couple locked in an embrace. Dating back somewhere about 1,500 years ago, this grave from northern China holds a couple forever locked in an embrace. Although the details are somewhat heartbreaking, this finding presents the epitome of true love from ancient times. The woman was found wearing a metal ring on her left finger, and researchers suggest that she probably sacrificed herself so she could be buried with her husband forever. And as it turns out, these male-female burials weren't really uncommon in such regions of China. However, this entwined burial, which has been described as a bold display of love, is a unique occurrence. The cemetery where this grave was found belonged to an ancient nomadic group with about 600 burials, and it's suggested that it's representative of how the attitudes of people slowly changed towards love. And in a pretty heartwarming decision, the archaeologists decided to leave them intertwined. So if you ever want to witness this act of love, then you might just be able to in a future museum exhibit. We've been told that the man was around 5 foot and 4 inches tall. His body contained some injuries, such as a broken arm, a partially missing finger, and bone spurs on some parts of his right leg. His age is suggested to have been around 29 to 35. As for the woman, she was comparatively healthy and possibly died in a way of suicide for the sake of love. And here we can't even get a proper text back. Ugh. Now, just to be clear, such a way of dying wasn't exactly encouraged at that time, but it was acceptable. Moving on, ancient pet cemetery proves that loving your pets isn't something new. In fact, it's been around for centuries. Archaeologists have discovered what seems to be perhaps the oldest graveyard for pets. This 2,000-year-old burial ground was filled with animals that were very much loved by their owners. Some were even found wearing handmade collars with shells, stone beads, and round glass. Some of you might be thinking that maybe these animals were sacrificed or crucified in the name of the gods even, but don't worry, the animals found at this have been identified to have died of old age or some sickness. What makes the scientists sure about this is that some of them were deformed and probably had to be taken care of by someone. And you'd be happy to know that these animals were buried rather carefully. Some were even wrapped in blankets or covered with dishes. How cute is that? One of the uncovered burials contained a monkey accompanied by three kittens and a tiny piglet which was kept in a vessel with beautiful ocean shells stacked next to its small head. On top of this, the grave also contained a blanket, which was probably left there to provide the young animals with comfort in the afterlife. This pet burial site contained 585 animals, more than 500 of which were cats. Well, this shouldn't be surprising since the cemetery was found in ancient Egypt, and they really had a thing for cats. However, other animals included dogs, monkeys, foxes, and even falcons. Well, it's good to see proof of an ancient love for pets, and it's really cool that we still follow these tightly knit traditions. Next time someone bothers us for loving our small ones, they might as well say to them that our love hails from Egyptian times. Now, we've recently uncovered, quite literally, that Egyptians might also have been fans of Greek gods. At least the recently discovered temple dedicated to Zeus suggests. Well, unless you've been living under a rock, you probably know that all the pharaohs had something of a god complex where they asked everyone to worship them and bow in front of them. And it seems that this was indeed the case for some Egyptian regions because recent digs have discovered a Zeus Casio 
Zeus temple in the Tel El Farma site that was dedicated to the worship of Zeus, who happened to be a Greek god. What we might find most interesting about this pretty recently discovered site is that it's basically the merging of two different historical periods. Zeus was, as we all know, the god of the skies, whereas Mount Cassios is a place in Syria where it's stated that Zeus used to once worship. But let's not say mean things about people who can't even give us a comeback for. Well, pretty obvious reasons. Archaeologists say that this Zeus Cassios temple was found near the ruins of a memorial church. It's also been identified that Roman Emperor Hadrian, who lived during 2nd AD, had it renovated. This site is located in the northwestern Sinai Peninsula, and recently red granite blocks standing about 25 feet tall were discovered, which the archaeologists believe served as the entrance of the temple. Experts have been sent the unearthed blocks to fully determine the architecture of the temple. This recent discovery opens several avenues for all to explore through which we can discover more and more about ancient civilizations living in Egypt. Interestingly, in 1910, Jean Cladat suggested that there might have been a temple in that area when he found some engraved blocks. Recent work on this site has confirmed this, and a rough structure of the temple has also been identified. Lastly, honey roasted rodents? To go, maybe? Anyone? Fast food has always remained hella relevant, no matter what time period we're in, and recent underground discoveries show that it was a big thing in Pompeii as well. Archaeologists focusing on the Roman city of Pompeii have come across a thermopolium recently. This basically was a snack bar of sorts, which was decorated with bright still lives. The remains found include animal bones, food residues, and even some remnants of the volcano eruption victims. This ancient fast food joint is now open to the public, and don't worry, you definitely won't be asked to try delicacies raised in a jar. We have moved forward from that, collectively, as a society. But you might be able to enjoy the colorful paintings which show scenes from different mythical stories. Other artworks, including ingredients that were possibly used to prepare the meals, and perhaps the piece de resistance is the Roman-era graffiti scrawled on the walls of the restaurant, which roughly translates to Nicias shameless sh**. This was probably an insult to the owner, and it's truly a huge consolation to know that people were just as flaky then as they are now. Many such sites have been found in the city, and it's believed that they were particularly famous amongst the lower class as they couldn't afford to cook at home. The menu included snails, pigs, ducks, and different types of seafood, along with wine. With such a discovery, people have been offered a deeper insight into the lives of people living in Pompeii before the volcanic eruption, and evidence strongly suggests that the owner probably died on the premises while fleeing the eruption. Oh well. And of course, there needs to be a final takeaway from these shocking underground findings. With these recently discovered sites providing us with completely new outlooks on how people behaved in ancient times, history has become more and more interesting. It's good to know that humor and compassion aren't something that developed in human beings recently. These witty ancient people should definitely be the focus of all history lessons. Apart from these, the discoveries mentioned above have already made their way to different exhibits around the world. So if you've got some money to spare, then we definitely definitely recommend you visit them. That's a wrap for this video, guys. What do you think about these shocking finds? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos like this.